Catholic beliefs about Holy Mary. The Catechism of Catholic Church teaches us that Mary is truly mother of God since she is the mother of eternal son of God made man who is God himself according to catholic teaching sourced in the gospel of john chapter 1 verses 1 through 14 mary did not create the divine person of jesus who existed with the father from all eternity Corinthians chapter 15 verses 21 to 22 For since death came through a human being the resurrection of the dead came also through a human being For just as in Adam all die so too in Christ shall all be brought to life Ondru Corinthians kelidi thirumugathilirundu vaasagam adhigaram 15 இறை வசனங்கள் இருபத்தி ஒன்று மற்றும் இருபத்தி இரண்டு ஒரு மனிதர் வழியாக சாவு வந்தது போல ஒரு மனிதர் வழியாகவே இறந்தோர் உயிர் தெழுகின்றனர் ஆதாமை முன்னிட்டு அனைவரும் சாவுக்கு உள்ளானது போல கிறிஸ்துவை முன்னிட்டு அனைவரும் உயிர் பெறுவர் bible references for the mother mary the new eve a new creation the cana story found in john chapter 2 verses 1 to 11 marks the conclusion of a series of events that began in john's first chapter john begins his gospel with a kind of recapping of the creation story found in the bible's first book moreover just as genesis begins by telling us about what happens on each of the seven days of creation john narrates an account of a new creation week he does this with the genesis like repetition of the words the next day the point of this seven day structure is to show us that jesus is coming marks a new creation see john chapter 1 verse 12 29 to 34 and chapter 3 verse 5 importantly on the seventh day of this new creation mary makes her appearance This is fitting because the ancient Jewish rabbis believed Adam met his bride Eve on the 7th day. It is also important that in Genesis the 7th day is the pinnacle of creation instituted as an everlasting token of God's perpetual covenant with the creation. Exodus chapter 31 verses 16 and 17. John describes Jesus's miracle as the beginning of a signs. The word used for signs in Greek is the same as the word used for token in Exodus. That tells us that the 7th day in John's account is a new sabbath. It is the sign of the new creation and the new covenant. Moreover, Mary's presence tells us that she is part of the sign the new adam for john as for the other writers of the new testament christ is the new adam he is the second man come to undo the damage done by the first john also understood that if there was a new adam there needed to be a new eve In his gospel he shows her 
to us in the creation story only the name of god is spoken the first man and the first woman are not identified by name but simply as the man and the woman the same is true of the cana story only jesus is referred to by name mary never is john refers to her as the mother of jesus and jesus calls her woman this is another indicator that john intends us to find a deeper symbolic connection between what happens at cana and the genesis story there is no evidence anywhere in john or the rest of the new testament to suggest that jesus felt any hostility towards his mother jesus was without sin accordingly he was faithful to the fourth commandment and obeyed his mother and father there also isn't any evidence in the cana episode that implies separation or tension between mary and jesus four times in the story's mere 12 verses she is referred to as the mother of jesus words which link her closely to her son perhaps the best evidence for what jesus meant is found in mary's reaction to his words she turns to the servants and says do whatever he tells you she doesn't think his words are dismissive she expects him to respond to her implied request and he does catechism of the catholic church 973 to 974 by pronouncing her fiat at the annunciation and giving her consent to the incarnation mary was already collaborating with the whole work her son was to accomplish she is mother wherever he is savior and head of the mystical body the most blessed virgin mary when the course of her earthly life was completed was taken up body and soul into the glory of heaven but she already shares in the glory of her son's resurrection anticipating the resurrection of all members of his body catechism of the catholic church 975 we believe that the holy mother of god the new eve mother of the church continues in heaven to exercise her maternal role on behalf of the members of christ In his first letter to the Corinthians St Paul teaches that Jesus is the last Adam who fixed the problems caused by Adam's sin for since death came through a man the resurrection of the dead comes also through a man for as in Adam all die so in Jesus all will be made alive but we also know from genesis that eve played an important role in the fall if jesus took the place of adam who took the place of eve the earliest christians believed that jesus mother mary played that role they pointed out a number of similarities between the situations of mary and eve both were virgins flesh to a man visited by an angel in eve's case a fallen one and made an important decision in response to the angel which helped bring about the actions of the man eve believed the serpent and led adam into the sin mary believed the angel gabriel and helped bringing our savior into the world
according to your word catechism of the catholic church 973 by pronouncing her fiat at the annunciation and giving her consent to the incarnation mary was already collaborating with the whole work her son was to accomplish she is mother wherever he is savior and head of the mystical body her yes is freely given even though it came amidst the chaos and fear as a betrothed woman mary knew the scriptures she was a faithful jew the writings of a carmelit priest father gabriel of saint mary magdalene ocd in his work divine intimacy explains thus her ineffable joy of the divine eternity is presented to her wrapped in the mystery of sorrow to be willing to be the mother of the son of god means consenting to be the mother of one condemned to death yet she knows all of this and accepts with joy proclaiming fiat total surrender to the father mary is trustful knows he is god ccc 506 mary is a virgin because her virginity is the sign of her faith unadulterated by any doubt and of her undivided gift of herself to god's will it is her faith that enables her to become the mother of the savior mary is more blessed because she embraces faith in christ than because she conceives the flesh of christ opposite of eve's no out of distrust eve takes mary receives the image of a receptivity versus rebellion a rebellious child takes grabs reaches and shouts eve literally grabs disobedient hand with palms facing down eve's fruit brings death a receptive child reaches out their hand open palm saying thank you Mary waits for the law obedient hand with palms facing up Mary's fruit brings life the father of mercies will that the incarnation should be proceeded by ascent on the part of the predestined mother so that just as a woman had a share in the coming of death so also should a woman contribute to the coming of life the knots of eve's disobedience was untied by mary's obedience what the virgin eve bound through her disbelief mary loosened by her faith